May I have a latte, please? To have you take away. Here. Take away. I am asleep when you go to bed and asleep when you leave for work and now you can't even stop and have a coffee with me. I told you, I've got back-to-back -back meetings all day. Oh, come on. You can squeeze me in. Or do I have to make an appointment with Lana? All right, I could probably wrangle half an hour at lunch. Yes, that is enough time to leave the building. Ivy, I will call Murray and pre-order so we don't waste any time. So, 12? 12, 12.30? No, it'll have to be after 2. No, no, my lunch break is at 12. Why is Vasa making everyone stick to her break schedules? Though she may be more flexible if the right person were to talk to us, say, the CEO. No, it's not going to happen. We can have lunch another day, OK? Thank you very much. No, OK, 2.30 it is. I'll see you across the road and I will order you the linguine. Yes. I think you should reconsider letting Jonathan lead on the Whipple's procedure. Why? Well, I know from my personal relationship with him that he's bored at work. And if he's not feeling challenged here, well, then his only option is to look for work outside of Shortland Street. It's a matter of staff satisfaction. It would be good if he could take more on while I'm in Seattle. To observe new surgical advances in laparoscopic surgery. So you'll let Jonathan do the Whipples? The patient still expects me to perform the surgery. So if it's okay with him, I'll assist Jonathan. How's that? An excellent compromise. Should have known. Hey. Yeah. Come on. Drop by and see how my girl was getting on. She came on her because her mother's an incompetent, you mean? Small talks off the table, then I take it. Tilly's asleep. Yeah, you look like you should be too. I'm fine. Are you really? I had an emotional outburst yesterday. It's not my best work, but not the end of the world either. I'll apologize to Roy Mutter. All I'm here for is to find out if you're coping. Oh, why does everyone assume I'm not? I'm an intelligent, capable woman who's also a doctor. My MS is nearly in full remission, and apart from being a little bit unsettled, our daughter is perfectly fine. So you don't need any help then? Not from me, Roy Mata, Daniel, no one. I'm managing. I know, we all know. But asking for help isn't an admission of weakness. And there are people here who would love to help you. You don't need to do this on your own. So why are you being so stubborn? Because I have to be. Because if it ever looks like I'm not coping and that I can't do this, you'll swoop in and I'll lose Tilly for good. Morning. 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 So, how was the rest of my shift? Um, same old. How was your meeting with Bethany? Productive. We nailed the proposal. Well, that's good. No, what's even better, now that I can take my nose off the grindstone, I can spend some quality time with my girlfriend. Don't be teasing me. I haven't had my coffee yet. No, I mean it. From now on, it's all about you. Ah, oh, the four little words every woman wants to hear. Starting with your Samoa plans. Today, lunchtime, my exam. We're looking at flights. <laughs> I spent 14 years of my life watching Daniel grow up calling someone else mum. Now, I know I did the right thing for my child, but four weeks ago I did the right thing for Tilly by giving her up and going into rehab. Which was incredibly brave of you. But I can't help thinking, what if my MS means that I don't get a choice about caring for my child? What if Tilly has to grow up calling someone else mum? And, and I have to watch that too and not be able to do a thing about it. Well, you can do something about it right now. Don't pretend you don't have MS. Don't want to be exhausted and back in rehab because no one wants that. So can you let go of that damn pride and let us help out every now and then? The Whipple's procedure, you're doing it. Am I? Under my supervision. Well, that's great, thank you. No, don't thank me. You're just like you have a girlfriend who thinks so highly of you. Hey? I asked him to reconsider his decision. And I did. So, better get cracking on that brushing up you were talking about. You pleased? Yeah, uh, you didn't have to stick your neck out for me, though. Well, you needed to be challenged in order to be professionally happy, so I made you happy. That's what partners do for each other. Thanks. 
You're welcome, and I look forward to you cheering up now that you have something exciting to focus on. Okay. No, nine, no. Oh, please. No. Oh, please, please, please. No. Pretty, 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 pretty. No. Not me get into trouble so you can squish noses with your BF. Dreaming. Do you not have any romance in your soul? Oh, here's a thought. If you're that desperate, man up and ask bossy yourself. Ask me what? Whether I can swap lunch breaks with someone. Why? Because I plan to meet Callum because we just have... No. No, that's it? Oh, I don't change the schedule for personal reasons. You know that. Take your break as scheduled. And don't even think about sneaking out. I'll know my eyes are everywhere. Okay, mein Führer. That's a bit harsh. Oh, some sympathy now. What's well, a little late? Well, not necessarily. I may not have romance in my soul, but I've got mischief up my sleeve. Do you seriously think this is going to work? We're nearly there. Shut up. Are all the HCAs busy today? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's what they say, but I don't mind helping out. Besides, my side bottom's a favourite of mine. Deaf as a post after the bed, but she's the sweetest thing. You had better hope that she's deaf. If you said that about me, I'd be laying a complaint. <laughs> Daft. You'll get yours, Crusade. Yeah, I hope so. I'm raking up a heap of good karma for this one. Good. Is it all clear? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> High five. I think we made it. <laughs> Damn. I saw good. This disguise is brilliant. I'll take it from here. Okay. And where are we going today? Oh, um, I'm fine. Don't you worry about me, lovey. Oh, I don't mind. Do you remember where your car is parked? Car? I'm no car. No, I'm... I walked. 